The kitchen can be an intimidating place. Appliances and tools can make you feel like you need a lot of skills to cook. And here's the reality. If you're plant-based, you need to cook. But a lot of my students and people I've talked to on this channel have low confidence and self-esteem when it comes to cooking. And this can lead to eating more processed pre-made foods, which is bad for your nutrition. So what do you do if you're not sure how you can improve your cooking, but you also want to improve your nutrition? Well, there is one skill and one tool that if you develop develop confidence with will instantly improve your cooking. It will make you more efficient and more effective in the kitchen. And the tool you need to master is a knife. And so in this video, I am teaming up with professional chef Joanna Barajas to teach you exactly how you can improve your knife skills, which will improve your efficiency and effectiveness in the kitchen. Guys, if you can master this tool right here, then I promise you will have way more fun cooking. It'll be a way better time. Your food's gonna taste better and you're gonna eat healthier because of it. Hey guys, my name is Peter. I'm a plant-based nutrition coach. And in this video, myself and chef Joanna are teaching you how to improve your skills with a knife. Now it's not just enough to have knife skills, you have to know what to cook with them. So to help you out with that, I've created a free guide for you. It is called How to Make Delicious Plant-Based Meals in Under 30 Minutes. It is a free guide with a formula that I use to cook amazing meals with whatever I have on hand. The link to that is in the description. Go ahead, get your free copy. Joanna Barajas is a professional chef who studied in France at the same school that Julia Child went to and teaches knife skills classes to people online. Joanna was kind enough to offer me a knife skills class so that I could share it with you and that you could take the class along with me. In this tutorial, she's gonna be walking me through how to use a knife more effectively while helping me make one of my favorite meals, Sardinian minestrone. Now, if you wanna follow along with this tutorial, great, but just know anything you do with this thing and your knife based on this video is done at your own risk, okay? Are we good? I don't have a lawyer, so I'm just gonna say we're good. Okay, tip number one for improving your knife skills is how to actually hold this thing. So there's pretty much like three steps to holding a knife. Okay. The first is your last, the, the hand you're gonna hold the knife with, the last three fingers here, you're gonna grip the handle. Okay. And then you're gonna pinch the bolster where the, the blade and the handle meet right okay. there. And you're just gonna kind of hold that firm. So it should be more or less an extension of your arm. So my thumb so. shouldn't be wrapped around like this because it should be like, Parallel yeah, parallel. yeah, that okay. exactly something like this where you're pinching it. So when it hits, it's really sturdy and it's not moving like that. Tip number two took me by surprise, and that is your finger position with your opposite hand. So this hand is going to be more or less like a claw. Okay. You always want to keep your fingers back and tucked. Okay. And uh, you know everybody's hand is different. Some people like to put like one knuckle in the front to guide them or two in the front. Uh, it really depends on like what you feel most comfortable with. You don't want your hands flat on the board. Like even if I nick my finger, it would just be on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's happened to me when I'm tired and cooking and I'll just <laughs> kind of nick my fingernail, but it doesn't cut anything. It just slides off. It's worth it. I would say you have a lifetime to cook so <laughs> you can practice. Now that you know how to hold the knife and how to hold your opposite hand, how do you actually move the knife with the food? The, the last step is the motion of the knife when okay. you go to chop. And this is gonna help you, I think, chop faster and with less effort. So what you're gonna wanna do is kind of rock the knife. So okay. it should just kind of go from you away from you and you're pushing down and just having that rocking motion. So it's not like a straight down or... You know, sometimes we do like, just when you're doing a big chopping job, that's fine. And I'll show you how to do that safely. But for most things, uh, we're just gonna keep a rocking motion. And I like having contact with the hand. Some people oh, prefer okay. to have it away, but... <laughs> This is, you know, when you see chefs chop and they're yeah. not looking, you know, it's because this hand is telling you how big or small the pieces are. Okay. So this is the measuring tool. <laughs> you know, it's funny, even just practicing like on the board, it's uncomfortable, 
to make that motion with my finger so close, but like, after, I don't know, after a few, it is truly like, it's just metal running up and down my knuckle. You, you yeah, know I mean? it should feel in the end like more safe, more confident. And, you know, when you also rock the knife, it takes a bit less effort to actually chop through things. Okay. Because you're gliding the blade through the food instead of trying to smash it down. Now, one of the issues I always come up with is chopping around things like carrots, but thankfully, Chef Joanna has a tip for you on that. Which can be a little dangerous for people because well, so, it's rolling around. <laughs> I think I may make it more um, because I was like, oh, I have carrots. I didn't buy them and I do have carrots, but they're baby uh -huh. carrots. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's okay. So just cut off the ends first. And uh, like I said, with the celery, a large, like, not uniform shaped sort of thing, I just like to break down in two or three pieces. Okay. So you can control it better also. And then to make anything rolly like this uh, less dangerous. Yeah. You can try to cut off a, a side of it to make it flat. Okay. Or what I like to do is kind of just get a little um, indent there with the knife and slowly just gently go like that. And now it can lay flat. Okay. So, yeah, with anything rolly, you want to somehow make it flat. And then, and you can use a serrated knife if you think that you feel more comfortable with that. Some people like using the serrated knives for things. I mean, that, um, well, you just sure is awesome because like we'll, we'll keep baby carrots around more often than not because they we just snack on them. Just what you said, putting the indent in and then splicing them in half. Like I just tried yeah. that and it's so smooth and like I always have trouble with baby carrots cutting them. So like just that is like super helpful. Yeah, because you have to still be careful. It's, you know, kind of an unstable thing. But once you get there, you can just put it flat and pretty easy to manage. Little tricks. <laughs> They're little yeah. things, but um, hopefully yeah. they give you more confidence in the kitchen. And so after going through this, look how delicious this meal look. I'm gonna be honest, this was actually the best minestrone I made in part because all of my vegetables were chopped to the same side. It was really efficient to, to cut these things. And because they were cut to the same size, the vegetables cooked more evenly. They actually cooked a bit quicker, which meant they had more time stewing in the broth because I spent less time cutting them. And this was a quick, easy way to make the minestrone. Here's the deal, guys. You don't have to be a master chef to eat a healthy plant-based diet, but you do need to cook. And with that cooking, you need some confidence. If you can master these simple knife skills, it's gonna make cooking just much more enjoyable and your food's gonna be better because things are chopped evenly and they're gonna cook better and it just makes the whole experience more pleasant. If you wanna see more of Chef Joanna and her tips and recipes, I will link to all of her internet presence in the description below. And make sure to download your free guide on how to make delicious meals in under 30 minutes with the knife skills that you now have. And if you're looking for a complete system that teaches you how to optimize your plant-based nutrition in a stress-free way that also includes some cooking tips, check out the Plant-Based Success Academy. And in the coming months, Chef Joanna will actually be teaching a full lesson on the Academy for chef's cooking secrets to help your meals taste amazing. So definitely join the Academy if you wanna see that down the line. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Show Chef Joanna some love in the comments. If you want to learn how to thrive on a plant-based lifestyle, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.